Hello everyone, this is the Tarot Queen Jamila. Um, I'm here to do the mini uh, weekly forecast for the Scorpios. And this is going to be from April 25th and ending May the 1st. Alright, 2016. So I'm going to be looking at, uh, this is a five card spread. I'm going to look at the current, past, and then the future will be next week. And then we'll also have the extra card for, um, depends on, it could be an additional outcome, it could support the future card, it just depends. So it's just a potential card. Alright, so. Looks like things are kind of under control. My cards are a little shaky. The spirits seem a little shaky for the Scorpios. If you're wondering what I'm listening to, it's um, Sophageo, binaural frequency to raise or activate your higher self. So, all right, so, okay, that's all we're going to do. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and lay your cards out. And make sure that you subscribe so that you can enter into my 3,000 subscriber giveaway that's going to be coming up. All right, Scorpio. So, oh, this is really nice. Okay. So, currently, um, the energy is the Knight of Wands. So, this is um, for you male Scorpios. This is uh, probably you literally trying to get a message to someone that you want. Um, or you're sending messages or you guys are sending messages back and forth. And maybe that person is sending messages um, to you as well. So I just see a lot of messages. Now the knight is literally a literal person um, that is sending the messages. This is um, fire energy um, with the wand because it's, it's the wand. So that's the fire energy. Sagittarius Leo maybe. Um, so that's what's currently going on and that's a really good card because this is a very protective energy almost angelic um, now in the past there was some physical pain maybe for some of you Scorpios because you got the ten of swords so this points to physical pain to me doesn't necessarily mean physical pain but I do see in the past there was definitely a lot of pain when I see that ten of swords okay um, the illustration is terrible um, especially in the deviant moon tarot deck um, this is the end of something a failure maybe even a possible death but it's a 10. So this points to a complete disaster. Okay? But this is a failure that is not small or easily to overcome because it is a 10 and it is a sword. But this is almost like a rite of passage because the sword deals with your perception and your third eye and your ability to decipher what is going on around you. And so that energy allows you to be an even better, quicker thinker. And this is very important for survival. So this is almost like the storm that's passing like almost if you're in a storm but this is not a fortune to be changed or avoided only endured if you stay strong new dreams can be built from the ashes so to get this in the past you had to come to terms with some bitter reality and you are learning that moving forward is the most important aspect of healing okay I see this is possibly happening sometime in June of last year um, or starting. Now, what's crossing you in the past, Scorpio, is the death card. So, again, there was ruin, but there was new life that came from that ruin. 
and it was even better because it was transformed the death card is a transformation you got two major arcanas in the past and the future both of them are amazing Scorpio the only bad card that you got was the ten of swords the death card is an amazing card based upon your cards in the future so there was a terrible time for you that you've had to get through For some of you Scorpios, there was an ending to a relationship or an ending to a cycle in a relationship. Whenever you have death, you come, what comes from it is, is new life. It's a rebirth. So there was a rebirth that happened within you or either your partner or both or the relationship. Now in the future... You got the Eight of Wands. And the Eight of Wands shows a crow bringing in a letter. So this is hasty news. So this is quick news that you're going to get next week. So you got news coming, Scorpio, between April the 25th and May the 1st. And the Eight of Wands is a really good card. It really is because... Um, There's obviously some things going on within this card. Let me just go back to my, my deck um, whenever I need to reference. A peasant woman prepares to rid her land of the wands growing in the field. An eighth wand served as a, as a scythe as the readies to cut them all down with a single stroke. Above her, a black crow flies into the scene with important news. So in the upright position, this is quick actions, decisions made in haste. A journey and this is a very good card to get um, for it because it's balance you know even though the card itself can point to some sort of urgency of some sort but it points to travel and an end to a delay so you were definitely delayed in the past with whatever this huge setback was but that delay is over you are getting ready to go on a very fast journey and you're going to get news about that journey next week. Okay? Um, now, to look even deeper into this um, Eight of Wands. This is a balance of energy. This is you being so damn tired and frustrated. You're sick and tired of being sick and tired. You're about to do it now. And it indicates you just need to be patient. A little while longer okay not only that when this card appears you may feel right that nothing's moving ahead but um, this means that things are about to move ahead very quickly and you get you're about to get some news um, sometimes in the context of love you might be feeling as though you may not be able to make you you it doesn't mean that you may not be able to make a commitment, but you just feel like it's not going to happen. Um, and that's not necessarily true. Some of you Scorpios might push a relationship. Just make sure you don't push stuff before you're ready. So this is a card to lip, to also remind you to maybe take it slow. You know, maybe you want to slow down a little bit. Okay? And your needs are going to get met, but you can't force somebody to do it. So you have to want that. That person has to want to do it. And they're going to offer it to you. They're going to offer it to you. And you're going to get it. So um, what's crossing you in the future is temperance, which is another card of patience. But I also feel, Scorpio, as though you've got some angelic protection. So this is another major life event coming up. So the angels are going to help you through whatever this is. And they're going to make sure that you're patient. Um, some of you, this temperance card might represent your girlfriend. If you're a man, if you're a male Scorpio or a female Scorpio. Okay, temperance could, could represent your male or your significant other no matter what sex. 
Um, I'm seeing that you're dealing with a very patient person and you are learning from them also. They inspire you because um, there was an issue that you had that was not your fault directly, but it usually is. But it, it, it's just you not making good use of your energy. So the temperance is an angel stands by a peaceful stream, patiently pouring water from her urns. Although the vessels are different in design, the mixture she creates is a potion of harmony. Um, so this is a very angelic person, uh, maybe even an incarnated angel. This person has, the, has a really amazing ability to be patient. This person will wait for you until the end of time. She will never leave your side. This is balance, channeling her energy. Not only is she waiting patiently, but she is also protecting you and shielding you and sending you messages. These messages are coming from her. This message that you're going to get is coming from either her or him, depending on if you're male or female. And what you're going to do, the, the, the temperance is also about balance of nature and balance of male and female. So, especially if you are in a, you know, what they call heterosexual relationship, this is about combining elements for new results. So, alchemy. So, you're going to take that energy and you're going to create positivity. You're going to create um, harmony is basically what this is about so i'm gonna wrap this up scorpio um i hope that you enjoyed this the theme for this week for you is definitely um patience is a virtue this week is what i want to say hopefully i'll remember patience is a virtue but it really honestly is all right. Well, it is about to cut up and rain outside, Scorpios. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe. And if you want a personalized reading, the link to my website is in the video description box. Talk to you guys later. Bye.